What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Minecraft Survival. I finished in a random... Hello? Cave last time. Where are we relative to the spawner? Okay, we're below it. That's cool. What I want to do is edit my grinder. I looked... Oh, this is perfect. I'm just going to bust through here. What I want to do is edit the uh, grinder. I'm going to change it a bit. Because the way it is now is not very efficient. And the problem is, I want to incorporate both being near the spawner so that it continues to make happy, happy zombie couples like those. Uh, but I also want the zombies to fall 23 blocks so that they have half of a heart of health. Uh, it's hard to do both. It's hard to be close and be 23 blocks away. Well, people are clever in Minecraft and they've figured out a way to do this. So I'm going to attempt. To do, to do that in this video. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Could get a little bit crazy here. Hit! I'm the spawner! Alright, that's good enough. So now what I want to do is not uh, fall down my pit that I dug. Oh, jeez, getting close. Instead, I want to do something a little bit different. And the way that this works is we, we still want them to be able to fall 23 blocks, but we don't want them to go 23 blocks down. So what we do is we move them up first and then drop them. So let's see if I can get this to work. Uh, what we want... Is that gonna wrap around? No, water has some weird behavior. Still working on that science video for water. But basically what I want is... Oh, I can just have a, a shaft that goes this way and push them off to the side. That'll work fine. Alright, so I'm gonna put this in a little bit later. Ah, uh, not... No, that's the same place, Poncho. If I sneak, will this push me off the edge? Probably. I bet it would still push you off, because you're on top of the water, not the ground. And I saw somebody over there. I guess it was just him spinning around. So let me just... Eh. Eh, I can't reach that. Oh, there's some zombies down there, okay. Cool. We'll get them later. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I got a source out here, don't I? A spring, I mean. Let me get a bucket of water from here. Ah, get out there! Alright, now if I put this over, um, how about here? There you go, it'll push them out the corner here, so let's take them somewhere. Oh, one block more as well. That's weird, a nice little angle right there. Okay, so they're probably going to want me jumping since they're in water, so, oh, balls. I hate gravel. Get out of here. So irritating. Okay, and now... We're gonna put our vertical shaft, and here's how. Eh, 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 get out of here. Here's how this works. I'm probably gonna need to go back up to get more wood. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more wood. Because what we want to do is take these guys up 23 blocks. So I need 23 signs for that, or maybe 24. Oh, good. Can I, can I make this jump? Come on now. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Uh, more peculiarities of water. Gonna have to do some more research and try and learn more about it before I make that video. Get up there! Thank you. Oh, there goes my mouse button. Thank you. Okay, let's. Uh, what's the fast way out of here? Do I have a fast way out of here? Oh yeah, I have a tunnel. Oops, where's my Where's my staircase that I think I'll go to here? Oh boy, up the stairs. Yes. Let's see, do I want to, um... Yeah, I just need wood, so I need to get back up to the top and go get some wood. That's all there is to it. I'll meet you guys back in the hidey hole. Alrighty then, I hear an enderman. An ender pair. Okay, I'm gonna try and kill these guys. Somebody told me that if you hit them in the feet, they won't teleport away. Is that true? Wow, that is spectacularly easier. Thank you so much for letting me know about that. What is it? This? They don't like eye contact? Gosh, I'm not getting any ender pearls. That is crazy. Oh well. Uh, can I get out of here, please? Thank you. Look at all of our reeds. Five or six more minutes and they should all be ready to go, I hope. And that might be enough to finish our enchanting room, because that's, that's a lot of reeds out there. 
Alright, so uh, I made the long, winding stair back up, and we're here to get some wood because we need signs. I'm going to try and demonstrate this as we do it. But there's one of these things that... Uh, I'm going to put this sheep out of his misery. You guys were talking about him in the comments. There, I've silenced him forever. Uh, can I fix the broken water here? Yes. Beautiful. Now everyone is happy. Gotta please the OCD viewers, right? Okay, we're... Don't need all this damn zombie flesh. I, there's, there's gotta be some use for zombie flesh. I gotta, I gotta find a use for zombie flesh, because... Oh, uh, I just can't stand having so much of it and not being able to do anything with it. Put away all this stuff. Alright. Do-do-do-do! I need food. Take my bread with me. I really should plant a farm before I go back down into the depths, because I'm spending a lot of time down there. Did I not bring my hoe with me? I don't think I did. Spending a lot of... Do I have any wood here? Oh, I don't have much wood left. Oh boy, we're going to have to go out and collect wood, I guess. Alright, well, maybe this video will be a preparation for fixing that spawner. Because as it is now, I don't uh, don't have what I need to make it. I just turned all my planks into sticks, too. That was dumb. What the heck? Why? Uh, just brain failure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wow. Good work, Boncho. Good work. I need a place to put a farm. Can I just, um... I don't want to have to deal with all that fence and s fencing in and stuff. But I also don't want to be bollocks with digging an entire cave for this. Maybe I should build a room over here to be my farm? That's what I'll do. Now instead of a fence, I'll just put a wall up. Where are my... Okay, I need furnaces. I don't have any furnaces, and that's not cool. I'd like to have a bunch of furnaces. Boom! Seven furnaces. Cool. Looks good. I need to. I'm gonna eventually have to get like a legit uh, place put together in here. For now, this this is efficient. This works. <laughs> Did I put a furnace back? I can reach that. I can get it through here, right? No, I can see it, but I can't actually get to it. Balls. Give me that. Okay, I'll just put the other one over the bed here. Can I still use this bed? I wonder if it's going to tell me it's blocked or something. Uh, oh, now the chest can't open. That was dumb. Dude, this is ridiculous. Okay, I'm just going to stick them out in the open then. I feel like they're probably pretty resistant to creepers. Being made of... Well, I guess they're made of cobble. So, probably not too resistant. Here, this works. I'll just put them all down out here. I want to make a bunch more of those stone bricks. So let's get all my cobblestone out. I've been picking up... Uh furnaces, or excuse me, coal as well when I see it, so I should have a bunch of coal. 45 here. At some point I'm going to have to organize these chests, so that's going to be off screen. There's the rest of my coal. Alright, let's make some smooth stone. What do you say? So we only need 8 to do this, because it's 8 times 8. So there's your 8. So each of these is going to do a stack. It's fairly efficient. And I'm going to let this run while we're doing other things. I think we're going to have to go out and get some trees. But this is going to make pretty much all we're going to need as far as smooth stone is concerned. If I need any more than that, it's just going to be crazy. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I need to organize these at some point. Let's make a farm, shall we? Get that going. I can go ahead, go ahead and put the farm together, and then I'll just put the walls up around it once I figure out where I want it to be. So I want it to be sort of part of my dwelling over here, which is going to come together, I think, in a modular fashion. Rather than building the whole thing at once, I'm going to build the rooms as I need them. At some point I'm going to make a smaller reed farm and bring it up here, rather than just having loads of them by the shore down there. Because once the uh, enchanting room has its bookshelves, well, any bookshelves after that are just decoration. This looks like a pre-dug room here. Thanks, creepers. I don't think I'm just going to use it. Why not? Let's make it a little bit flatter, and then we'll put our... It's raining. Wow. Another great side effect of living under a giant awning like this is that I don't have to bugger with it whether or not it's raining. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, we'll just fill that in. So five blocks wide? I think I can put three... three lanes, and if I need more, I can just always dig into the side a little bit. So let's do that, shall we? Put these in the right places. Oh, I made an addition to the poncho pack. Let me show you guys this. This is kind of important. 
I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I don't think it's really a big deal. Ooh, I didn't actually mention that on Facebook or anything. But it, derp, what are you doing? I totally missed. So if I try and put something in here to enchant it, you can't enchant a hoe, huh? That's funny. <laughs> ah, yes, I, I changed the galactic words to English words. Of course, they don't mean anything. The words are randomly chosen, and they have nothing to do with the enchantment that you get from it. So it doesn't actually make it any easier to tell what you're getting, because it's still just as random as it would have been otherwise. I just like having the words because it's slightly more meaningful than random characters, even if the words aren't actually a determining factor. So, you know, do do what we can. Alright. Now I gotta hoe this place up. Let me bring another bucket of water up here. I guess I'm gonna turn back to dirt if there's not water nearby. Derp! Got a little bit of lag for a second there. Ugh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to have a, an infinite source somewhere in the, in the house up here. What if you need if you could just toss a bucket on the ground while it was raining and it would fill up with water? Getting kinda hungry here. Put my lava away. Mmm, bread sandwich. Delicious. I feel like I don't sprint enough. I very rarely use the sprint capability. I don't know if I'm missing out or if it's just a waste of food. But opportunities like this, it certainly seems like a nice convenient way to get somewhere. You can't sprint upstairs, can you? I don't think you can. As soon as you hit the angle surface, it's like you're walking into something and it stops you from sprinting. You need to fix that so you can sprint upstairs as well. You know, maybe my natural border for where the wall should be should just follow the top part. That would be kind of cool, because then it would it would only rain outside the house. I don't know, just an idea. Did you? Did you? There we go. Done ski. We'll put this down. Start with a small farm, I guess. I don't know how many seeds I have. 23? Yeah, it's nice you can walk on this stuff now. Makes it so much easier. I got eight more, so do I want to put another row in or just make it longer? Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna another, I'll make it like the, I'm gonna dig in this way, I think, because what I want is. Okay, now I need to get out of here, so I'll have to edit this eventually. It's a work in progress. I got to bring some lily pads up here at some point, too. But I guess that's enough wheat for right now. Let me get back to what we were doing. I just want to have some food in, in the what you call it, in the chute. In the pipe, I think that's the phrase. Coming down the pipe, you know. Like mine these things. Alright, what were we doing? Oh, uh, yes, we were trying to get a mob grinder, but we need wood, so... I'm gonna have to get... Okay, sorry guys, I just balls to that rain, I cannot stand it. It's so loud and so irritating, and it does nothing for the ambience of the game. That just makes it annoying, that's all. It's like, okay guys, you like normal Minecraft. How about annoying mode? It's just the same as regular Minecraft, except it's always raining. I wouldn't mind living in a snowy biome, it snows quiet. Yeah, I got this little hole down here, where stuff likes to appear. Which kind of sucks, because I think they're in my house. And it sounds like they're right in my face when I'm in the house. Get over here so I can punch you! So that one torch will probably fix the problem. Ah, now it is almost night. Let us sleep. And in the morning we shall go out and start a tree farm. But I don't think I'm gonna put it up there. Maybe I'll put it up top. That would be kinda cool. Let's see if we can scale that. We haven't been up top, have we? Trees. Take the lily pads, too. Is that it? Is it? I got an axe. One axe. I can go ahead and build my stuff right now. That way I don't have to waste time tomorrow. Boom! Ah, oh, the warm furnace out there, keeping my feet warm. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, they're about halfway done. Good. Good, good, good. Yes, to the top. I'm gonna need to bring another bucket. I'd like to have a third bucket, so I don't have to worry about 
I got too much lava. Alright, I'm just gonna dump out this one bucket of lava. <laughs> I don't need all these buckets of lava. Where should I put it? What happens if I put it in here? It makes obsidian. Huh, cool. Now I have some obsidian in my pond. If I want that, I can pick it up later. <laughs> Get it? Pick it up? With a pick? <laughs> Minecraft puns. There we go. So now I'm going to take my infinite water source up at the top here. Actually, what am I saying? You don't even need a water source for tree farms anymore. I keep forgetting about that. Because back in the day, when I did the original Haven, I was really convinced that you had to have water and light for trees to grow. And I think the fact of the matter is that they don't really need either. I'm not totally sure about light, but I know for a fact that they don't have to have water nearby. Hello, Zimble. My sword's about to break, isn't it? It's like, yeah, there it goes. It's like, why aren't you on fire? Here, chase me around until you burn to death. Oh, that was fast. How convenient. Still got enemies spawning out here, huh? I have to work on lighting this up in some systematic way eventually. For now, let's see if we can get up the side of this. Watch out for creeper kamikazes. Hmm. Try not to jump off the edge. Close to the edge, what a great song. Oh man. If you haven't heard Close to the Edge, just look that up on YouTube. You wow, I just walked right over that without even <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Tard Tower? Tard Tower. Cause from here it looks a little bit dicey. Can I get around? Yeah, I'm going to need a staircase for this eventually, I guess. Or some kind of convenient way to traverse it. Alright, cool. Actually, have we been up here before? I don't think so. We've been on the top of other mountains. Maybe... Oh yeah, we have been here. Cause I remember walking through this neat little grove that grew right here. Very cool. Let's go and... um. I would go explore that. We've, we've been in there before. I just thought it was neat that they all grew on that flat surface there. It's almost like in nature where it's like, hey... The trees spot a flat zone where they can grow and just start growing, man. You can't stop them. Life will find a way. Oh. What? Did it just timber on me? I thought that mod was uninstalled. Well, that's great. <laughs> I'm very happy to discover that it's still installed. I think I might have reinstalled it, actually. I, but that was like weeks ago. I haven't cut trees down in a while. Huh, whatever. I'll take it. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't care if these trees have bad teeth. Oh, there goes my axe. Oh, that was the one that was already broken, wasn't it? Well, I didn't need to make so many axes, uh, I wouldn't have made so many if I had known that I had timber mods still, because this is ridiculous. I'm gonna get loads of saplings from this, too. I'm quite, quite pleased with this. This area up here is gonna be a great spot for a tree farm, too. How tall are we? 203, so 256 is the height limit, so this mountain could be, yeah, look at that, this mountain could be a bit taller. Have we been on that mountain over there? I feel like I probably thought about it, at least. I don't know. There's another really cool awning over here. These double height maps just generate some really cool terrain. There's no getting around that. Just heard a weird sound. I don't know what it was. Anyway, I'm going to hang around up here while I wait for these trees to decay. I could punch them and try and get some apples, but I'm not that excited about apples. So I'm just going to let them turn into saplings. And I, I don't know if they turn into saplings faster punching or leaving them alone. Maybe I should do an experiment on that. I could do a trees video. That would be an interesting thing to do in Minecraft. Minecraft science. Do a, experiments on trees average time it takes for them to grow. Oh god, that would be fun. I get to watch trees for an hour and a half. Mmm. It's almost as fun as watching reeds grow. Yes, so I believe this is going to be quite a sufficient uh, farm for trees. I've already got 16 saplings. I came up here with a bunch, though, so I haven't actually picked up many yet. Oh, here we go. I love that sound that it makes when you pick stuff up. I actually think I might like that sound even better than the experience orb sound. Is that sort of like a tinkly wind chime? It's cool and all, but... I prefer that popping noise that the items in general make. 
So, it turns out that you don't have to break leaves by hand in order to get apples. I had this happen to me in, a uh, my... in another world. It's actually in creative mode, which I don't know if it makes a difference, but... I had a forest fire caused by a lava flow and some new generated terrain. And the forest fire burnt down a bunch of, obviously, trees. And the trees dropped apples when some of their leaves were burned. So, I don't know. 31. Nice. Get some more saplings. Oh, there's an apple. See? I didn't punch that leaf. Apples just randomly spawn sometimes when leaves decay. You don't have to actually punch them down by hand. And I had heard that you had to remove them by hand in order for them for you to get an apple, but apparently by hand they just mean don't use shears. So as long as you don't... Like, if you shear them, you're going to pick up the leaf block, and so it's not going to have a chance to decay. But if you pick it up with your hand or let it break on its own, then it has a chance to either drop a sapling or an apple. And there's another apple. I have to wonder if a single leaf block could drop both a sapling and an apple. That would be the kind of thing you would not determine by experiment. You'd look at the code and see if they're, ind if you're, if they're independent variables or not. Alright, I'm going to get a load of saplings from this, so I don't know if I need to hang up here forever picking these up. I got something to talk about today, though. This is Minecraft is sort of my uh, vlogging platform. I should make it into a pixel art video if I really want to talk about it for an extended period, but maybe I'll do that sometime. We'll see. That's kind of cool looking. Reminds me of Ender's Game. Oh, Ender's Game. What a great book. I need to go back and read Ender's Game again. If you haven't read Ender's Game, I highly recommend it. It's not one of those literary great books. At least I don't think most people consider it that way. There's all the apples and stuff down here. One of these trees was holding out on me. Uh, I don't know if it's really considered a literary great, but as far as sci-fi novels go, it is my personal favorite. I guess you could count Ender's Game as a sci-fi. I mean, definitely. It, with a close second being Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert Heinlein. Uh, Ender's Game was written by Orson Scott Card. Now I gotta find a way down from here. This is gonna suck. Catch me, tree! Ow, bastard. Oh, jeez, look at this. Oh, I'm on top of my awning. I don't want to be on top of my awning. Uh, is that the word in 23 blocks? I probably would die from that fall. Hey, I know what would make, make me not die. Water! Yes, it's water. Pick the block up when you leave. And now I don't even have to worry about a column of water hanging around. I hear... Oh, God! Everyone sees me. Save me, tree! Uh, so I got a couple creepers and a couple zombies. Where are you guys coming from? And a skeleton over there. Wow, I need to turn my darkness, my brightness down to moody next time it becomes night so I can actually see where these dark places are. Yeah, so I got some, uh, some mobs chilling out down here. What I think I want to do is try and get the creepers to blow up. Yeah, let's do that. That should kill the zombies. Yep. Nicely done. One of the creepers killed the other creeper, so I got some gunpowder out of it, even. I need to get a new sword. I hear you. I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Yes, burn! Burn! Let's get this skeleton out of here. You bastard! Ooh, darkness sound. I wonder where that is. Now the reed's growing. Or, excuse me. Oh yeah, speaking of reeds, let's go and collect those. We'll probably have quite a number of bookshelves prepared over there. Oh yeah, Ender's Game. That's so great. So great. It's just one of those books that, and it's a pretty l low reading level. I probably read it in middle school, and I understood it, at the very least, the plot. I don't know about the philosophical implications that it's supposed to have, and the other discussions that are happen that happened between a certain pair of characters. But um yeah, just the story alone is really cool. It's one of those Ender is basically like a boy genius. And it's one of those stories about a boy genius who you really wish was you. It's sort of like the Artemis Fowl series where you you read it's sort of like it's like actually this is sort of an archetype, isn't it? Everybody likes really smart people. Like, despite the fact that modern culture sort of says that being smart is uncool. 
characters who are actually geniuses are typically very well liked. Like, Dr. House gets away with being a complete ass because he's so freaking smart. And you've got Ar Artemis Fowl does essentially the same thing, except he's both smart and rich, so he's got the Batman thing going. <laughs> Where money is a superpower, didn't you know? And, uh, and then in an Ender's game, he's just a kid, and he's got... Even, even younger than Artemis, I would guess. I think so. He's a kid, and he's sent off to, like, boot camp, essentially. Space boot camp. <laughs> Sci-fi. And the, and the result is that he is pretty much a genius, and you really like him. Despite the fact that he's not socially acceptable otherwise, I don't think. Look at all the reeds. Oh my god, I'm going to not have room in my inventory. This is beautiful. Our reed farms have finally uh, come to fruition, I think. Yeah, I left all of these sitting here because my inventory was full. And I get to pick them all up out of the water. Hello, chicken. I'll take that egg from you. Oh, I'll not remove the eggs either. Hmm. What am I going to throw away? How about a bone? I'm going to make a chicken farm eventually, so I need those eggs. As many as I can get. Look at all the reeds! Yes! So many... Oh, I filled up another stack, didn't I? Give me that zombie flesh. I hear footsteps. I don't like it. Yep, it's a creeper. I heard... I wouldn't have heard his footsteps, though. Boom. I'm out of arrows. Punch him with the bow. Thank you. Give me your experience. Oh, level 20. Nice. I might take my first enchantment at level 20 or 25, so we'll see. See how many bookshelves I can get out of this. Nice, look at all the stacks of reeds. That's like another... So, three stacks. That's going to be a third when I break it down into how many bookshelves that makes. So I just made enough for and then another third because it takes... Let me sink. So, reeds to paper is one to one. So I got three stacks of paper. So that divide that by a third to get the number of books. So that's one stack of books. So I got a third of a stack, which is 20 bookshelves. Nice. That's what I'm calculating here. Oh god, spider! Oh, good thing my door is nice and narrow. <laughs> are you going to non-aggro? I think he non-aggroed. Cool. Ah, yes. Reads. Let's make paper. Boom. I think you should be able to shift-click things into the enchanting, into your inventory, as well as out of it. Any other paper up here? Anything? Oh, hello, Ender person. Oh, he's freaking out because it's daytime, isn't he? Hey. Hey, ow, you bastard! What are you doing? Hey, cut that shit out! I thought I had another one up there. I heard the sound. Alright, um. Put some of this junk away. Uh. Alright, cool. What was I doing? Bookshelves, yes. I got plenty of wood here, don't I? Picked up a whole stack of it. Boom. So many planks. I needed a lot of planks to make signs, actually. Signs are a relatively expensive recipe. It's really surprising, actually, how much they, 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 that they cost. Doo -doo -doo. 21 bookshelves. Boom. Beautiful. Just what I needed. I still got plenty of planks left, too. That's good. I'm gonna turn those into planks as well. Great! 21 bookshelves. Hey! Let's go see how high I can get my enchantment table to go. Maybe I'll take an enchantment at the end of this video. We'll see. I need to enchant a bow at some point. Bows can be repaired with other bows, right? I think so. I don't know. Maybe it would be wise to wait a little bit before enchanting any farther. I don't really know too much about it yet, and I feel like waiting into higher levels is likely to be worth the, 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 the increase in the odds that I get something good. I'm not totally sure, but, you know. i got to go on intuition if, I'm, if I don't actually know the answer. You know, I should punch up the rest of those reeds. I probably have enough there to finish off the 30 bookshelves. Because i got 20-something here. I already got 4 up there. That makes 25. So if I have enough out there for 5 bookshelves, which is 9 per bookshelf, so 45. Yeah, i got 45 sitting on the ground out there. So I'm going to go punch the rest of those up at some point and move the reed farm to somewhere more convenient. Get out of here! Oh my god. 
Just wasted a bookshelf. Oh, you get three books back. You didn't. You used to get nothing when you broke a bookshelf. Which really sucked, honestly. Now you get three books. So you don't get the planks back, but you do get the books back. So, I nicely balls that up. Yeah, look at this. We've got so many bookshelves now. We only need one, two, three, four, five, six more. Is that what we counted on the way up here? Or am I missing some? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll see how many... Oh, I can't get my enchantments to go now. Forty? Okay, well, that's sufficient for now. Alright, great. I hear a skeleton around here. But I'm not too worried, because I'm up here in the air. Is he on top of this thing? I need to put glass on the ceiling, too. Alright, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully in the next video we will get our grinder finished and get up to like level 25 or 30 and then take our first chance at enchanting. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Minecraft.